Hi guys, hello and welcome to another tutorial. If you remember a few months back when I purchased this HyperX, I showed a video uh, to connect this HyperX to an iPhone. So here is my iPhone that I'm connecting this HyperX with. So as soon as I connect it right here, I would expect this to be on. However, as you see, it is not even turning on. And this is one of the common problems that a lot of the people have reported recently on my channel that when we are connecting it, it's not even turning on. So there are a few things that you can do to fix this problem. One of the things that you can do is, now sometimes what happens is when you try to connect it, it doesn't connect right away. And rather when you turn it on, it starts blinking. That's one of the problems people have told me on my channel. So what you can do is try, in this case, disconnecting this, connecting back, and then trying to connect again. Sometimes you may have to switch over and connect. Or what else you can do here is that right behind the microphone, there is this connector. You may have to disconnect, connect it back, and then connect it to your iPhone again. So one thing you have to make sure is that it is connected properly, okay? If it is not connected properly, that will not work. Now what happened with my iPhone, since it's a little bit older, is that this connector got a little bit loose. So if it, if it slightly comes out, it automatically disconnects itself. So try these a few things and see if that works. This works for me. I mean, like I also had a lot of trouble with my iPhone X, but now that I have iPhone um, 12 Pro, uh, Pro Max, it, it just works perfectly fine. Right in the first time it just goes through. Basically, I realized the problem was over here. This connector, as you can see, see is loose. So I have to make sure that it, this inserts correctly. I have to make sure that this inserts correctly. And that's why I also make sure that it also inserts correctly from right behind. So, you know, after a few tries, I am able to make this work. People have also asked me if this works on an, an Android. I don't own an Android device, so I really can't tell you if it works. It should work, technically speaking, uh, practic it should work. There shouldn't be any hindrance in this working uh, with an Android device because all you need, this is a USB, right? So all you need is a proper connector to your Android device, and then this should work just perfectly fine. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of this tutorial. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below if you want more videos to be covered. Mostly, I do cover videos in different computer science-related technologies. Take care, guys. Till the next video. Bye-bye.